Hello everyone, welcome back to another opening on the Poke Garden channel. Today I'll be opening up the Brilliant Thunder theme deck, which is a fire electric theme deck that features Heliolisk. And um, in case you're wondering, here is a complete listing of the cards you'll find inside this deck. And let's get to opening it. And for some reason, this one just doesn't want to. We'll start with the coin, and this one is a Charizard coin as well, just a little bit of a different color than the one that came in the other. And I'm wondering if it is the Mega Charizard Y or if it's just a regular Charizard, but he does have that big horn in the middle, so it makes me think it's the Mega. And then the card you see in the front is a Heliolisk Crystal Shard or Ice Shard Hollow. This is the only card in this theme deck that is um, different than from the set itself. Um, in terms of printing in this set, uh, Heliolisk is a non-hollow. So, just a little different. Then you get a card that unlocks the theme deck online. You get a box, and um, this is where you can store the deck, and that's where all the cards are right now. And then there's a little information sheet explaining Mega Evolutions, as well as special rules for Mega Evolutions. And on the back, there is a complete listing of the cards from the set, from the regular and the reverse set. And the only cards that are missing are the secret rares. Otherwise, they wouldn't be so secret. Then you get damage counters. And you also get a play mat. I won't open the whole thing because it's rather big. And let's take a look at the deck. So, as I preface any theme deck opening, um, there's going to be a lot of cards in here that are duplicates, and that is because that is what you need in a deck in order for it to play well. So I do expect to see a lot of the same card. So there's going to be four Fire Energies, Baneri, Rapidash, Heliolisk, I'm sorry, Heliotile and Heliolisk. So this is um, the way that card is printed in the set. It's a non-hollow. And um, here is the Crystal Shard version. It's a pretty nice card. Um, it is just a stage one, and that allows you to do a parabolic charge for any energy, and you search for your deck for two energy cards and put them in your hand. So it lets you um, accelerate energy in a little bit of a way, at least to finding it and putting it into your hand, which is useful in theme decks. Uh, Fire Energy, Ponyta, Electric Energy, Luxio, Pidgey, um, there's a rare Pidgeot, Fiery Torch, obviously useful in this deck, it um, allows you to discard a Fire Energy, and um, if you do so, you get to draw two cards, Shinx, Pokemon Center Lady, Roller Skates, Electric Energy, Fire Energy, Evo Soda, Professor's Letter, also letting you search for those two energies, just like that attack, Blacksmith, uh, very useful in a fire deck. Um, a lot allows you to attach two fire energy cards from your discard pile to one of your fire Pokemon. Could be very useful. Electric energy. Pidgey. Fletchender. Electric energy. Fletching. Pokemon fan club. Torkoal. Um, and, and this would be an example of a useful card to have that blacksmith with because his second attack, Flamethrower, you flip a coin and if tails, you discard an energy attached to this Pokemon. Um, so with blacksmith, you'd be able to add those energies back on pretty quickly and keep doing that attack. Pidgey. Pidgeotto. Oh, lightning energy. Luxio. Helioptile. Rapidash. Baneri. Shanks, Electric Energy, Fletchender, Ponyta, Fire Energy, Fiery Torch, Snorlax, Electric Energy, Pokemon Center Lady, Lopunny, Professor's Letter, Pidgeotto, Starling Megaphone, Electric Energy, Torkoal, Fire Energy, Heliotile, Pokemon Fan Club, Fire and Electric Energy, 
and a pitchy and a fledging. So overall, um, in terms of the types of uh, trainers in here, um, pretty useful, obviously, in a fire deck to have blacksmith and fiery torch. I probably would add a couple more of those um, in order to make this deck run even better. Certainly, Megaphone is a wonderful, wonderful card, but if you're playing this theme deck against the other one, it's not going to give you any benefits. Um, so, in that format, if you're just using it to play, having one is very useful. And obviously, Pokemon Fan Club is very useful to get your basic Pokemon out. In terms of how this deck does in comparison to the other one, I think it's got a lot of potential. I just don't think it's quite there um, just yet. Obviously, it's very nice to be able to add those fire energies back onto Torkoal to be doing the flamethrower for 80 damage. Um, but the other deck is uh, has water Pokemon that could easily counter your fire Pokemon. And um, other than for that, there's not a lot of strong attackers. Um, Rapidash only do up to 40 damage, and you're doing 20 damage to um, a bench, so that's pretty useful, but um, it is a stage one to get there. Heliolisk um, is going to let you get those two energy cards, but its quick attack only does 60 to 90 damage, whereas in the other theme deck, um, you do have the Meow Stick, which is going to allow you to move as many damage counters um, on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like, which can be really, really devastating. So if I had to pick a theme deck to play with, I probably would play with the Meow Stick theme deck uh, versus the Heliolisk, but um, I do like Heliolisk. It's a pretty cool card. I just wish it had a stronger attack. So let me know what you think about the theme decks. Um, let me know which one you're going to be playing with and leave me a comment below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned. I've got more videos to come.